And hi everyone, my name is Joe Shufo, and I'm joined today by Michael Logan, the man on the mouse. And we'd love to show you that runner up tech demo that we talked about earlier. So let's reintroduce this company one more time. Runner up tech is a fictitious IT company that is helping other local companies support their, their agents, right? People that work for those companies need to have a device as they're working from home and they need help but because they're working from home, it's not a situation where you can just be in your office and reach out and get help if someone accidentally, like a dog, rather, eats your Chromebook. So that means that you might not be able to call in, you might not be able to web chat, you might want SMS or even social media channels. What's important for Runner Up Tech is that they are meeting those customers across these channels and that they can't have every little thing go to a live agent. If you think about self-service requests, you don't wanna to wait too long but you also don't want to have this queue of things piling up that people can never get to. So when we go through this demo today, keep that in mind that they need this solution to make sure that demand for channels is not something that customers are asking about and they can get that issue resolved on that first contact. Now with runner up tech, they chose Genesis cloud and Google contact center AI. So we are going to jump right into it. Let's go through the things that they had to do to get up and running. The first thing I'd love to point out that we are in Genesis Cloud now, as Michael is, and we're just using Google Chrome. So with a browser, we were able to go to a URL, log in, and we've got the same interface for an agent and an administrator, and we'll see that today. When it comes to getting up and running, it's as easy as going to that admin panel. And there are a few things that are super important for getting your business actually online to people reach out to you. First thing is actually making agents, right? So you've got to make people and bring them into the system. That's something we can do here. It's also important to actually have a phone number so they can reach out to you. Within the number management panel, we can go ahead, start looking for the area code we need. Maybe there's a toll free 1-800 number we'd like to use, purchase it directly from this interface and put it into play automatically right from there. Now, a few other things that are important and we hit on this earlier is what about other channels? People might not want to make that phone call. And if it's their phone that breaks, they probably can't make the phone call. So from here, we could be build an email. We could start opening up social media channels, maybe even drop a few lines of JavaScript on your website and kick open a web chat. All of those are available to us. Now, as we look at other channels, it's not just about being open to customers, but helping the agents that are within your company as well. So scrolling down, we're seeing two things that are really important. Quality, which means looking at those interactions. Was there a situation where an agent just had a really bad phone call and that customer was upset? That's a moment we can learn from and we can find right away to solve that problem. Or maybe there was a great web chat where a customer was super happy and we wanna share that as a coachable moment with everyone else. Surfacing up those moments and learning from them is super important. When we look towards workforce management, these are situations where we can take advantage of AI to know when do we need people around? So when our customers reaching out and when do we have those peak periods, can we make sure more people are online and standing by to address and help out? Now with today, we're seeing these situations where they've got the channels up and running. They've got agents online ready to go. What about self-service? How do we do that? Using Google Contact Center AI, we have a one-click integration into Dialogflow. So what makes that so great is that all you have to do is turn that on. You can take advantage of all the great things you've built with Google Dialogflow. For those of you at home that are wondering, what does a one-click integration look like? Well, everything is deployed via our app Foundry. And that one-click step-by-step is done right within our resource center in a six-minute video. You can follow along and you yourself can have Genesis Cloud and Google Contact Center AI working together. Now, for the purpose of this demo, we'll show a few channels as we go through it. And the way we do that is with what we call Genesis Architect. Think of that as our flow designer. So when I mean flow, I mean people are going to reach out to you in a lot of ways. They might call in, they might chat, they might SMS, they might social media, I'm running out of breath talking about it. There's a lot of ways people reach out. You've gotta have a way to build those experiences, keep them consistent, but know the nuances that might change as you go across them. Lastly, we always love to talk about workflows. Your business is not in a silo. Maybe the interaction you have with a bot is going to change the way you interact with the CRM, kick off another process. All of that can be built right here. So for today, we'll take a look at an inbound call in terms of the flow editor. And what I just would love to show is that we've got that dialogue flow bot right there. 
All we had to do was drag and drop it. On the right hand side, we can choose the Dialogflow agent that we'd love to use for this. And it automatically pulls in everything right into the visual designer. So for those of you that are really great at Dialogflow, you're wondering, well, what happens as that conversation occurs? We're identifying intents. Maybe we're identifying moments that need an agent. We wanna reach out to a real person. What happens there? Are we changing the interface for the agent when that call comes through? What about a follow-up? If we identify in the bot conversation that they don't need a person, but they do need a new Chromebook, as we see here from that nice dog eating your laptop, well, you've got to kick off a process, and this is where it can be done. The great thing about this is you have people designing bots, and you have business users that can design what happens next and influence what happens on the contact center side, all from within a visual interface. So I'm going to hand it back over to Michael here as he takes us through that agent and that customer experience through the demo today. Thanks, Joe. Uh, what we're going to do is move to the runner up tech site. So we're going to use the same example that Janelle laid out for us earlier, where Joanne had an issue with her Chromebook, but now same issue is happened to John Elliott. So working from home has caused all sorts of problems, everything from spilling laptop, spilling cough on your laptops to having dogs eat them. And that's what's happened here. So I need instant response because I have work to do and I'm working from home, but I need my Chromebook. So I've gone to the website, they, they're the ones uh, supporting me and I've uh, found the appropriate number and I'm hoping I can just call in and get an instant voice on the phone to help me out. Let's see what happens when I dial the number. Welcome, John. Do you need help with your Chromebook, your Pixel, or help with something else? My Chromebook. I'm sorry to hear that. Is there physical damage to the device? Yes, my dog ate it. Does the device still power on? No, it took a big bite out of it. Okay, let's get you a replacement. When would you like to have it delivered? Today. Your new Chromebook will be delivered to 7601 Interactive Way within the next four hours. Is this correct? Yes. Great. Can I help you with anything else? No. Thank you for using Runner Up Tech. Have a pretty good day. You have a pretty good day. That's awesome. See how easy that was. I thought I was going to reach out and have to wait in queue, but no, I was instantly helped and serviced through that bot. And it's that one, that first call resolution that we need. Of course, there's always going to be follow-ups. So that's what we're going to go to next because that bot was easily handled the transition of, I have a broken laptop to, I, I'm going to get a brand new one. So that was all done in one interface. Uh, through Genesis Cloud, we were able to uh, initiate that service. And what we're going to see now is in that same interface is an agent working multiple interactions right now in that same interface. On the right side of the screen, we see Agent Michael Logan's engaged with a voice interaction, also currently working of an email response as well as an SMS response, as well as a Twitter direct message response, all from that same interface, all delivered that, uh, through that. On the left side, we see that John Elliott is back on the runner-up tech site. Uh, this time, he's got his laptop, but he has a question. So he's going to start a chat and hope to reach out and get, get an instant response. So just filling in some information, uh, starts the chat. And what you would hope is uh, that I'm identified. And, and sure enough, there it is. Look, welcome, John. Do you need help with your Chromebook, your Pixel, or help with something else? Sounds very familiar, right? It's it's the same bot that we used earlier on the voice channel, just applied to the chat channel. So that is uh, exactly what we want. So we're going to just put in uh, a quick response here and hope we get, uh, is this regarding the recent Chromebook delivery? Because I want to make sure my Chromebook is up to date. And they're asking if it's the recent delivery. And I'm of course, it's the one I just got. So I respond and they recognize that I'm a platinum customer. And that's how we're using those back-end systems to identify our customers. I'm happy to connect you directly with one of our engineers that can help you resolve your backup issues. So now that I'm being connected, we're gonna go back to our agent, Michael Logan. Michael Logan's wrapping up some interactions. He's on that voice interaction that's just wrapped up. He's just wrapping up that product question. Now, he's, as soon as he wraps that up, he's alerted to the chat message from John Elliott. Not only is he, does he see the chat message from the bot, but he's also through uh, through Google Contact Center AI, there's agent assist that's driving the conversation. So I can instantly respond to uh, check the Chromebook for updates. So what I'm able to do is instantly put in through a workflow. Uh, let's make sure that it turns on. And John Elliott says, yes, it turns on. 
it's on, and then we go to the next step. So as we go through and we complete that and ask if it's connected to Wi-Fi and move on through the workflow to ensure that John Elliott's satisfied and is, is everything's up to date. And as we go through that flow, I'm gonna hand it back to Joe and wrap up this conversation. Hey, thanks, Michael. So I just wanna talk about what we saw here. When we look at that phone call, the absolute best thing you could do is get out of the way and get a new Chromebook for someone. We didn't need an agent there. What was better was using self-service. But when that person gets the device, You've got to think, even though technology might be simple, you still need help. And if you're stuck at home by yourself, it's a little nerve wracking to know if you're doing the right thing. We have to create bandwidth to choose these moments of using self-service and then getting to a person who can be there and understand what it's like to get set up when you just had a dog eat your Chromebook. That's a tough day. So the great thing on the agent side is that Michael didn't know if he was following the newest steps, right? Things change, processes adapt. But having that in real time through Google Agent Assist is invaluable to make sure that we can come back to that thing that we wanted in the beginning, which was solving it on the first try, right on that interaction. So Michael, I wanna thank you for a great demo. And for those of you at home, thank you so much for joining in and watching this with us. And Celeste, thank you again for having us. And that was amazing. Thank you, team. It's exciting to see, and it's exciting to see a lot of our a lot of work over the past few years that's come to this easy uh, way to enable for our customers. So thank you. Uh, from the Google Cloud team and the Genesis team, we want to thank all of you for uh, being with us today. And thank you very much. And we look forward to helping you completely transform your contact center and delivering better customer experiences for your customers. So thank you very much.